Ripping off Zemo Show, banning cards as we go. Ready to go, we feel the flow. Knee deep in season four, can no longer ignore. For drafting, these sets sure do blow. Can I win some games, please? Get some busted Ixies. Hope Gavin isn't on some stupid cheese. Make the best of our packs, hope we're able to sack. Contagious with progression disease. Let us play together, regret it. Never the series will be halfway to forever. Our polls come shining through. I hope I'm monetized after the bits we do. Halfway to forever, hoping that I don't lose. Keep molding, I'm falling. Halfway to forever. Well, folks, a new year, a new episode of Progression Playoffs. Now, Judgment of the Light is a set that changed everything. It actually changed everything. There's a lot of really sick archetypes that debut in this set. I'm talking Trap Tricks. I'm talking Bujin. I'm talking Umbral Horror. And there's a lot of good support for archetypes that already exist. So, without any further ado, let's go through them. Galaxy Serpent is a really strong card, a level 2 dragon tuner, but unfortunately is a super rare. We somehow have not gotten very many good tuners during Zexal era. I guess they just really wanted people to exist. Intercept Tomato is very funny. The Super Defense Robos are a series of monsters that enable Googly Eyes Drum Dragon, a heck of a card that we'll explore when we see it. The Star Seraphs come out here, and they're zero playable ones. The Umbral Horrors are a weird, stall-oriented series of monsters that I hope Gavin fails to read. Swartz Child Limit Dragon is a card that is dangerously close to getting copy struck by me. It's just a free level 8. The Bujins debut in this set. Now, Yamato, unfortunately, is the core of the Bujin strategy. An ultra rare with 1800 attack, and during your end phase, you can add a Bujin from your deck to your hand, then send a card from your hand to the graveyard. Now, this is not too big of a deal, because a lot of the Bujin cards like being in the graveyard, and if you are uh, full of bricks anyway, which you likely are, with your deck that plays a ton of monsters that are fine being in the graveyard and end up in your hand, it's not too bad to trade a crane for something else. But uh, this card is the cornerstone of the Bujin strategy, and unfortunately is probably unavailable to us by virtue of being an ultra rare. Now, it's not to say we can't play Bujin, but we will need to get creative. Each of the Bujins has uh, one of two effects. Uh, some of them can be sent from the hand of the graveyard in order to do something for your monster. Some of them can be banished from the graveyard in order to do something uh, for your monster. Something like a targeting protection, destruction protection, uh, honest is one of them. The Mecha Phantom Beasts get more support in this set. There is a one-star tuner, which is fantastic. Uh, Colt Wing, of course, is used these days for a lot of really silly setups that include Auroradon. Back in the day, it's not fantastic because it has to be special summoned to summon the tokens. Uh, its other effect is still pretty good, uh, but you have to have tokens on your side of the field already, which is a little difficult to do. And Heraland is a really interesting follow-up play to an established Mecha Phantom Beast board. I'll definitely be exploring those. We might be playing that. Another deck we might be playing is Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. We have Tiger King, and as a result, we could play a deck that includes Boar and Caribou, two new pieces of support for that strategy. There are some Archfiends here that are not worth mentioning, and the Trap Tricks, which make their debut in this set. Now, the Trap Tricks are obviously defined by what trap holes are available in the set, and while Mirmelo can search any trap hole, the only one we have access to is Deep Dark Trap Hole, which was a super. That said, that card is really, really good in this format because of how effectively it plays around the Dragon rulers specifically. So, if anyone pulled Mirmello and has Deep Dark Trap Hole, which I think Danny and Leah do, they might be playing that as a 4 engine, which would be very frustrating for us. The Calibrator is the Calculator, but bad. Masked Chameleon is a really good rank 4 tool that is at ultra rare. Armades Keeper of Boundaries is a classic synchro monster. I was shocked to see it came out this late. Unfortunately, it's just not very good. Googly Eyes Drum Dragon is two things that are very important for this. The first, a common. And the second, a card that wins the game on its own. So this can be made with two level 8 machine type monsters. The super defense robos can do a fantastic job at getting that out. Then once per turn you can detach an Xyz from this card. It gains 1000 attack until the end of your opponent's next turn. And it already starts at 3000. If it's destroyed while it has Xyz material. You can banish a super defense robo from your graveyard to special summon it. Then attach a super defense robo from your graveyard to this card as Xyz material. If this card makes it onto the field. It is so hard to get rid of. Battle is right out. And you're going to have to spend like 3 or four removal spells getting all the super robos out of the graveyard star seraph sentry is fine master key beetle is okay 
Bugente Susanoo is really, really good. So if you don't get a shot at Yamato, Susanoo is another card that can make use of all of the Bujin monsters. One of these two will probably have to be in your deck, and probably Susanoo is the better one because it's always available in the extra. But if you have it, you have unlocked a strategy that was a terror in Constructed. Unfortunately, the spells and traps are pretty boring. Uh, Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare, of course, is very good if you also pull Mirror Mellow, but it is a super rare. Shape Sister is a very interesting card, a free summon and also a tuner, but an ultra. Arrow Squin is a card that uh, Skyhawk uses to ratio people on Twitter. And the Atmosphere is kind of relinquished, but not really. Of course, there's some really powerful stuff at the import slot. Uh, Coach Captain Bearman and Coach Soldier Wolfbark are both really, really good cards. Uh, there's some new Brotherhood of the Fire Fist monsters. Fencing Fire Ferret is uh, like a proactive man-eater bug that probably will see play if you're also playing cards like Blaster that just get a random use out of fire monsters. Uh, but outside of that... I'm really scared for this set. You know, the Dragon Rulers are functionally still legal. The only thing that we've lost is title. Uh, the Battle and Boxers, that were the scourge of the last set, are no longer around, but there's still a ton of really good rank 4 enablers, a ton of really interesting strategies, and a ton of possibilities for this week. So I'm going to get deep into the tank, come back with something cool, and I'll see you in a moment. All right, chat. 24 packs of Judgment of the White, starting now. Oh. 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 All right. Ah, and there it is. We have found Googly Eyes Drum Dragon. Great. Uh, Crane's crazy. Oh my god. Is that rank up magic Numeron Force? Oh, Yoko is so big. The atmosphere. There's our first fencing fire ferret. Ooh. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. Well, 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 well. Can anyone think of a payoff for eight star monsters? Ball monk. <laughs> Great. I, I'm so excited about that. Awesome. What? Okay, please no more trap tricks. Oh, a second Yoko. Oh, what's the material on Masquerade? Oh, that's pretty good. Good, another Colt Wing. Star Seraph Sentry, you got it. Archfiend Cavalry, you got it. Rothschild Limit Dragon. Okay. Get some more of those, please. Talila, Princess of Cherry Blossoms. Bujin Incarnation's great. Have we found any good Bujins, by the way? I've seen Crane, but that seems to be it. There's another Crane. Oh, another Schwartz Child. Oh, we are really not getting fucking... There's our third Schwartz. That's good. Turtle. There's a Turtle. That's good. What trap holes even are there? Uh, Deep Dark and nothing else. There's Warg. Another one of these assholes. Uh, boar. Okay, I'll take it. Another warg, another turtle. Wow, we're getting pretty much all the Bujins we wanted. And we, that's our third Yoko. Good, that's the entire Bujin line, I believe. Xyz Encore, sick. Oh, and our third crane. Holy shit, wait a minute. Our fourth crane. Yamato? No, our third Balmung. These strike me as penis pulls, but that's okay. I don't know how much of uh, what we pulled this week is actually going to matter. We have the fixings for a pretty competent deck, as is. Uh, we did pull the uh, commons I was looking for, though, so pretty happy about that. All right, see you soon. So here's the list. Now, I don't necessarily even think this is the most powerful thing we could be bringing to the table. We have a really expansive rank 4 suite, and the Batlin boxers remain super good at enabling those plays. But I think it's the last time we're going to be able to play Dracosac, and I would feel terrible if we left without summoning it. See, I think a number of the Dragon Rulers are going to end up on the list at the end of this episode, and as a result, I'm going to do everything in my power to get this bad boy out. Now, uh, let me walk you through why we are playing Mecha Phantom Beast Heraldic Beast Dragon Rulers. 
Well, the former shouldn't be too surprising. Redox Dragon Ruler of Boulders and Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms are really good enablers for our turn one play, Mecha Phantom Beast Drake Uh They are also a really exceptional typing. Lightning Dragon Ruler of Drafts and Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms care about wind monsters, and all of the Mecha Phantom Beasts are wind. Now, the Mecha Phantom Beasts are mostly notable for dumb Colt Wing Aurorodon combos these days, and Drake Asak is specifically in the past, but the monsters themselves are actually pretty strong. In fact, they're not only good, they're good at making exactly Draco Sack. So in scenarios where we find maybe one ruler but not the other, we still have the opportunity to make it by using a card like Tetherwolf, Haraland, uh, Hamstrat, and Black Falcon. Now, this puts us at a severe disadvantage though, because our Redox does not have the ability to summon itself frequently. These cards are machines, not dragons, so we have to jam a supplementary Earth Engine in. I picked Heraldic Beast. Uh, it it was recommended to me by my Discord because Leo is a card we have three of. This was a rare. It's a 2,000 attack point four star monster that dies the turn that it is summoned, but when it dies, adds a heraldic beast from your deck to your hand. Normally a Leo getting over a 1,900 attack monster or something and then getting a basilisk means you get the removal from the Leo, the removal from the basilisk, and the material and graveyard necessary for a redox. It's a really sick, albeit slow, self-contained engine. That should be fine, though, because I think these games are going to last a long time regardless. It turns out summoning back a 3,000 defense point monster really tends to extend the length of individual games. So, let's go through the individual cards, I'll just give you a quick once over. Mecha Phantom Beast Black Falcon, when it declares an attack, summons a Mecha Phantom Beast token. Like all the Mecha Phantom Beasts, its level is increased by the total level of all tokens you control. And if you control a token, this card can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. This is really, really fantastic because it means if you have one Dragon Ruler, you can attack with a Black Falcon, get the token. The Black Falcon doesn't die in that battle because of its continuous effect, and then it's now a 7-star monster, ripe for the overlaying for a Drake Sack. It also can switch an opponent's monster to defense position, which can protect your tokens. We've got one Hamstrat. I believe this was a super, and it's the only one we pulled. Uh, when it's flipped face up, you can special two tokens, level 3, attack 0, defense 0, in increased by the level of every token you control, and while you control a token, it can't be destroyed by battle or card effect. Now, importantly, because those tokens are summoned during the damage step, no replay occurs when they are summoned. It also allows you to reborn Mecha Phantom Beast monsters from your graveyard, which will come up. Heraland is a weird one. Most of these have very easy to trigger effects that summon a token and manipulate the level of your Mecha Phantom Beasts. This one does not. When a monster you control is attributed to activate a card or effect other than this card, you get a token, so it cycles a token for a token, which isn't a particularly good token generation tool. But the thing that this card has going for it that the other Mecha Phantom Beasts don't is that it's a really good follow-up opportunity. Additionally, it can summon additional Mecha Phantom Beasts from your hand, which is really good for rank 4 plays on very specific boards. And finally, Tetherwolf. This card's fantastic. When normal summoned, you can special summon a Mecha Phantom Beast token. It's increased by the level of all Mecha Phantom Beast token. You control an immediate 7-star monster, but you can tribute the token that you summoned in order to give it 800 attack. So something like a 2600 attacker till the end of the turn, or a level 7 monster, or a 1700 that resists destruction. It's just an all-around really strong card. Leo, as I said, destroys itself in the end phase of the turn it was normal summoned, and when it's destroyed, can add a heraldic beast from your deck to your hand. We could play more Basilisk, but uh, I don't think it's that good of a card. We're on three copies of Bullblader. Bullblader, I think, is really, really good this format. It has a really advantageous typing and trades super favorably into the really powerful Xyz monsters that are going to be sitting in defense position this time. Three Reactin, two Redox, two Lightning, two Tempest, and then a couple of fun ofs. We're playing the Atmosphere. This can be special summoned by banishing two monsters you control and one from your graveyard, but notably, this can include tokens, and as a result, something like a Tether Wolf can pretty much fulfill the entire obligation on its own. It is Thousand Eyes Restrict, which is strong. And finally, Buten. There is a Mecha Phantom Beast one-star tuner that we didn't pull any of. Buten is a one-star tuner. It's the only one-star tuner that we have access to, and I really want to make Crimson Blader. We've got two Dice Foon, three Butterfly Yoke, three Memory Loss, three Aerial Recharge. This card is very strange. Once per turn, you can special summon a Mecha Phantom Beast token, and during the end phase, you have to tribute a token or a Mecha Phantom Beast monster, or it's sent to the graveyard. This is really good when your opponent is going for a ridiculous attack setup that's going to out something like your Dracosac, and you, like, flip through an aerial recharge to blanket. And finally, do a barrel roll. This, I believe, was a rare, and we only got the one copy. Uh, this is an Omni if you control a Mecha Phantom Beast uh, token, and uh, we are always going to have one of those. 
Finally, in the extra, we've got a Crimson Blader. This card's really, really strong. Uh, we just have to actually make it, which means we draw Buten. Uh, Laval Dual Slasher, I think, theoretically, we could have made in previous builds of this deck, and I forgot to cut it. Uh, Underworld Fighter Balmung, same deal. Uh, we've got Abyss Dweller, Fairy King, uh, Gagaga Ga Cowboy, Double Excalibur, uh, Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, literally cannot make, Masquerade, Heraldry Crest, uh, two copies of Pappy, one copy of Zen Maester, and Draca Sack itself. So, a quick rundown on this card, if you're not familiar, is it's two level sevens. The only other good seven that we could conceivably have is Big Eye, but I don't think anyone pulled it. Once per turn, you can detach a material from this card to special summon two Mecha Phantom Beast tokens, and while you control a token, this card can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. And once per turn, you contribute a Mecha Phantom Beast monster, then target a card on the field, destroy that target. It can't attack this turn. It attacks for a ton of damage, but it's also removal. It also protects itself. It's just an absolutely strong card, and it can be made using the Dragon Rulers, which would be going back to your hand at the end of the turn anyway. So, not super confident that this deck is robust bust enough to go the distance. I certainly know that everyone else is packing a list without two Draco Sack, just because they're really well-rounded, uh, but I think we could maybe scum a win, and that would be really funny. Well, folks, another week, another episode of Penis Playoff, and how's everybody doing here tonight? Had a very having COVID Christmas. She got COVID. Oh. I mean, it's not it's not her fault. Um, and we, I caught it from Battle and Boxer Led Yo. We he also was in the gym with me. both were at the same thing two days before, so I'm a little concerned. Oh God! Let's go, Brent. Easy, easy. easy. Me cheering on my opponent. <laughs> it's like, let's go, Brent. Who am Joe, I playing again? Joe. Oh. <laughs> Joe just got back literal minutes ago from yeah. Kansas. So I'm back from my hometown, as you can see by my busted ass lighting. Oh God, I gotta get out of this fucking room. It's my yellow wallpaper. Um, and uh, I'm back once again to uh, play this deck that I labbed while I was in Kansas and having a fever dream where I got trapped in Kansas. He said, it's he playing. Said. It's playing sweet corn, right? No. Huh. I'm not a fan of sweet corn, but I am a fan mm. of sweet porn. Folks. Wow. <laughs> on that, I'm going to normal summon. Pornography has got to get sweeter. <laughs> uh, you know what they say, uh, Kansans Ooh. make do. That, that is what they say. <laughs> that is what they say. That's You're right, ninja. we're playing this is, ninjas. This is pretty sick. I like, what I like about progression uh, playoffs over progression series is that every week we all come with a new interesting strategy. And like, there's no like Blackwing that like we'll play for like six weeks in a row. Like no archetype of level four monsters that one player has access to and no one else does. Oh yeah? Well, watch this. Yeah. I'm going to discard Bujingi Wolf. Never mind. Ooh. To special summon Light Ray Greffer. What on earth, what? dog? Has to be level five or higher. Bro, oh, read your cards. Oh, you're right. <laughs> uh, I gotta read my cards. It's been two weeks since I've read these. Damn, play would have been cool. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's the battle phase now. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I will ferret. Ooh, fencing fire ferret. Okay, Ooh, that's a card. That early. That's Let's talk card. for a moment about fencing fire fat. This card's crazy, right? Uh, yeah, it's right. A, I think it's nuts. Like it's man eater yeah, bug, know, but it attacks. Turns out that's still crazy and in limited. Basically, it, no it's matter man eater what. bug, but like fucking horseshit, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> like a much worse man eater bug. <laughs> No, it's a much better... No, it's a much better man eater bug. What are you well, talking about? It takes because because it's an onboard trick. Your opponent can just use dimension slice on it. I mean, it's an onboard trick if it's attacking and getting value for you and trading and killing your opponent's guys. What's or the you value just set if it they if respond to it, to it like with a removal spell? Bug. Intimidation? Well, if you want to use it like man eater bug, you can set it. You, you have options. You better watch out. I'm going to use you like man eater bug. God. <laughs> And eat some man. A guy not, drives 900 hours do and is immediately hostile. That's, that oh, is completely oh. understandable. Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, if it isn't the consequences of your own actions, Danny. Now, I, yeah. now, backing up for a moment, this confirms something that the team has known about, but which viewers mm. are, may be surprised, which is 
You may recall that nobody fucking played Dragon Rulers last week. Yeah, so despite last week being Dragon Ruler format, it was actually Battle and Boxer format, and I imagine this time we'll actually be seeing and some rulers. now we are playing Hieratic Hieratics. Dragon Ruler. Wow. Oh, uh, wow. That's, um, that's something. So what wait a sec. Mean... Wait, 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 wait. Back up. We, we've buried the lead here. Brent, you have 48 cards in your deck. Oh, wait a second. What's going on here, buddy? Eight cards. What's, uh, what's going on here, buddy? What's going what on it, here, Brent? What does it mean to get ratioed? Does that is that like the new <laughs> is that the new quested? <laughs> There's no way you're saying this to me right what? now. What? Ratio, no way. Ratioed is when you have a higher ratio of cards in your deck than your opponent. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's, when, it's when you make a tweet and a reply to the tweet gets more likes than the original tweet. Oh. Uh, okay. Now, it is doubly effective if the person that you are ratioing is white and you call them white. <laughs> That's like the, and I had all these of I'm gonna, ratioing. A normal summon upstart. Okay. Okay. Gain a thousand. Uh, I thought being ratioed was like for for white people since they don't have like a, a clear sense of ancestry because they're all mixed. What? What? Uh, Brent, are you okay? <laughs> this this like... is what the real ratio is. Actually, I'm one sixty fourth Cherokee. Uh, I'm actually thirty three percent. I'm thirty three percent Blaster Dragon Ruler of Infernos. <laughs> He's actually my cousin. What's happening? I'm tired. This is yeah. This is a this is an 11 p.m. bit right here. Apparently, okay, I'm going to monster slots. Ooh. All right. Okay. Week two. Oh my god. Holy. Well, it worked. Oh so, my god. So fuck you, you dumb idiot. Off. He's going to summon five <laughs> monsters. Go. If only there was another way Upstart Golden Ninja could have summoned a ninja, but I can't think of any. So. <laughs> Well, now I can play around a specific card. This is not this. a hard once per turn. I'm going to use the second Oh, one. would you say that potentially you have remembered how to play Yu-Gi-Oh? Yes. I have remembered somehow. Okay, we'll just get the other one. All right, we have three guys on the board for Illuminate here. Yeah, no, there might be a better target. Century. So Star his name Sentry is, is a good card. His name is Upstart Golden Ninja, but only about 20% of him is golden. That's a lot of you to be golden. For yeah, the like, what the I fuck? Mean, <laughs> How much of you is golden, solid, asshole? He has <laughs> solid gold bracers and you're like, that's not enough. Somebody <laughs> could have gold teeth and you're like, hey, that's golden Steve. How dare I mean, that would, that you'd probably of... be making fun of them, yeah. How dare yeah, you but... one of okay. the Golden Ninja, my favorite Phoenix Wright character. Yo! <laughs> We're gonna overlay two. Gonna go into the boy. Yo, this is such a sick play. Ooh, okay. Detached. That is, in fact, bigger than Blaster Dragon Ruler of Volcano. Now we're going to monster slots again. Oh my god. We're, we're going off here. Oh my Holy god! Control. <laughs> Bro, you're you're not. He's cracked. He's cracked. I'm, I'm too cracked. I'm cracked. He's cracked. He's cracked. He's at three thousand. Are we going to kill Brent? Like I don't. I don't think damage I is I this. Mean, maybe. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go into something. I mean. You know what's interesting about the dragon rulers is like there's something to be said for getting a dragon ruler in the grave because at least you can't use the hand effect like that kind of matters sometimes with blaster. Overlay into Omega. Ooh. Okay, I'm I'm still with you. This oh, guy, fucks. Omega is a beast warrior. <sighs> yep. Okay, I'm with you. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm in. I'll try and kill Blaster here. Okay. Try and kill. Do it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, I didn't expect to get this far. Uh, Hieratic Knew It is like an Ace Attorney name, right? 
<laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. It's like exactly. That's, that's a, yeah. That's the catchphrase. I yeah. love Ace Attorney. I'm so glad you're playing them, Joe. Those are like iconic like Oh, I finished. Being Oh, you finished the original trilogy? Yeah. What do you think about uh Godot? I love him. He's my favorite of all time. Right? Isn't yeah. it crazy how He's you get so to the third good. one and you're like, there's no way I could I could like a villain or hate a villain more than Manfred von Karma. Yeah. And then there's well, Godot. <laughs> and then still, there's I Godot. still think that Manfred is like the best villain in the series, but like I, I, I mean, love fair. Godot. He's yeah. just such a presence. He, he is. He is such a presence. He's great. Manfred truly is the epitome of like Ace Attorney is Mwah! He's such a fucking <laughs> almost got tossed there. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, let's okay, go. So banish, banish knew it oh, and sue okay. from hand. Okay, sure. <laughs> Try and bump this over the Omega here. Squeeze sure. up Omega. Uh, we will special purple here. Danny getting a little low, a little fruity here. So like this is this is just the unfortunate part of Dragon Rulers is like Danny's now in a position where he has to beat an endless cavalcade of this specific asshole. He's just so big. Like, if he wasn't fucking giant, like, if it was yeah. just a 2400 guy, that's, yeah. like, significantly easier to beat. Like, But, like, Redox and Blasters specifically are such... Uh, they're assholes! They're just assholes. Yeah, that's true. And, Blaster you know, really is the crazy one. Blaster should have been banned last week, but someone is uh, cheating, so... Why would I ban my own Blasters? Because you care. It's the because only one I have. To lose to it. Because you care. What? You're, you're like those billionaires in their their golden upstart golden palaces, saying, <laughs> "Why should I care about climate change?" That's that's because that's a, the this right is a classic YP. Do. This is not look an MP. At, look at Blaster. He's literally changing the climate in front of you, and you're not. And doing you're like, oh, you don't. Th you think I care? You think I care about Blaster's climate change? No, I'm a hog, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the the seasons change all the time. What are you talking about? What Listen, is this a little hotter? Turn up the AC. These terroristical <laughs> ninjas are getting under my skin. That's the real threat we need to be talking about. True. Danny, I'm going to coach you through this play. You have to tribute summon the second interplanetary purply thorny dragon in your hand. Overlay to make ZW Leo arms and attack over blaster. Danny, I'm going to coach you mm. through this play. Uh, on the bottom left of your screen, there's a <laughs> button that says Admit Defeat. Yeah. Let's look at that way. Uh, we'll just set a card here. I can't believe Brent is winning this. He's done nothing this game. He just summoned Blaster twice. That's the entire game plan. Well, well you know, there, there is a very weird thing about Dragon Rulers, which is, theoretically, you can kind of wait them out, if, provided you have enough ability to wait. Because, you know, they True. can't banish stuff from their grave forever. <laughs> <laughs> this was the thought process of everyone when they were spoiled. They were like, well, I mean, it's not like they could do it every turn. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at Brent's number count and I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm losing to this game. I mean, how would he even get another dragon into the graveyard? Oh, my fucking Lord. Yeah, no, go get your other dragon. It's cool. How would we even refill our hand with more dragons? Oh, well. Is there even a way to get dragons into the graveyard in this deck? Or like 10 or 12 ways? Can anyone... Wait, I just figured it out. He's playing 48 cards so that he always has dragons to banish. <laughs> well, I would assume so. Brent, you care to explain the rationale for 48... For 50... 53? 53. Wait, how many cards are in this deck, bro? How many? Um, I'm just gonna thank Gavin. I'm not giving any more spoilers. Any more spoilers from that? Oh, okay. The Knox brothers have both mind melded themselves onto 53 card decks. Is that what you're telling me? I hope me? that's not true. If it is true, um, thank I'll him. come. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll tribute summon for Hazy Flame Sphinx. Ooh, okay, okay. that's pretty yeah. good. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. call monster. You are playing. Surely, there's no chance. What the fuck? You are playing the Surely. mash dog. No, Surely. no. Yeah. Surely, it's not fifty monsters. No, it doesn't work like this. No, it doesn't yep. work like this. Yep. Hmm. 
I just love Yu-Gi-Oh at the end of the day. This is oh, that pretty good. Makes two Oh, the guys. blaster still does return to the hand. So that's that's pretty good. Like Hazy Flame Sphinx is like a, a nice way to special it, but at the end of the day, the downside is that it still becomes a removal spell in a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by me. Uh-huh. I'm going to flip summon Bujingi Wolf. I mean, okay. Fucking... Normal turtle. <laughs> you know, go for it. <gasps> All right. Susano! Oh, whoa! Yo, whoa! <laughs> Susan Owo notices Susan your Bujinte. Owo. So we're going to declare the effect of Susan Owo. Detached turtle here. Is that okay? Uh, yep. When Let's the memory go grab is found. A... Crane. Oh, God. There yeah, I am wondering what this face down does. Wait, is Could this it... lethal? Oh, we added the we added the Kalut to hand? Yes. It's added Crane. Five plus... No, it's not. No, no. no Gotta kill the blaster. Oh, my God. Somewhere. Crane is crazy. Ah, uh, you just read Crane for the first time. I see. <laughs> no, I've read it, but <laughs> I, I, I see didn't you've... realize you could you could search it with Susan Oa -O and go from yep. there. Uh, okay, so I got to think here. Susan Owo. Yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no shot. It took you that long. No shot. <laughs> no, it did. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Gavin. <laughs> Holy fuck. Notices your Bujente. <laughs> oh, I told this joke to Brent in testing, and he died. Two. Huh. That's interesting. I guess I guess. What's it. the interesting part? Well, the interesting part is that Blaster is returning to hand. Did you not normal turtle this turn? Oh, I'm sorry, I did. Thank you. I'm trying to cheat. You're again. welcome. Call me oh, Siberian God, I didn't even, Rabbit. I didn't even notice. Cut that out, Jules. Jules, could you put that in a second time? Well, the interesting part is that Blaster is returning the hand. Did you not normal turtle this turn? Oh, I'm sorry, I did. Thank you. <laughs> no, please! <laughs> Come on. I think the main strategy in Yu-Gi-Oh! is Wait, making your turn long enough that your opponent forgets you've already normaled by the end of it. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think that's our main strategy. We've played three turns, and this is an 18-minute game. <laughs> Sorry. No, oh, you're not. But you will be. You will How does be. my grave have ten cards? I blame monster slots. I also blame monster slots. You would think, but monster slots banishes. His grave would have a whole 10 cards in it, if not for Master Sloth. It's more with the Xyzes that they enabled. If only Danny had some sort of Dragon Ruler he could use his graveyard for. I don't need Dragon Rulers, they fucking suck. I agree. Yeah, they do suck. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's but wait, let me, go, let me get this straight, Danny. In order to preserve yeah. your epic-based card pool, you refuse to bland, ban Blaster. And the then you blaster. did not play Blaster. That's what you're saying. I didn't... I, well, the problem is the only deck I could have played with Blaster was Battle and Boxers. Yes! And I don't want to play it again. I, I, I don't. That's fair. That's it's fair. not even like an entertainment value thing. It's just that this deck, just I assume, is better. Yeah. Hey. this game. Uh, I, you can't make a I Battle and Boxer. Get my food real quick. Give me a sec. Oh, God. Okay. It's okay. Just keep playing. Yeah, def the, the camera's rolling. <laughs> Just keep playing. It was don't definitely... Play. Yeah, no, keep no. playing. I mean, he's okay. going to complain if you don't keep playing while he's getting food. Sure. He's going to okay. be like, whoa, nothing's happened. So you're specialing Blaster here? Okay. I'll tribute someone again for Sphinx. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Just this sure. for that. I wonder oh. if the Sphinx will hit. Declare monster. Ooh, Pokey Draco. Oh. Draco. Pokey fucking Draco. Pokey Draco. This. Okay. Um. I will overlay these two. 
Sure. Specialist in defense. Sure. I will try both times. Are you going to negate both times? I will negate both times. Okay. Negate both times. Uh, wow. Bujinji Turtle actually being a little bit cracked here. Yeah, Turtle's crazy. We summon in defense to not get memory lost, I guess. Um, and then I will... Wow. Oh my gosh. Dragon Carnation. I sure. figured something like that was set yeah. since it wasn't doing anything. For boulders. Sure. Just call, call them their names. Yeah. Wow, what is up you with activate... you and Gavin and calling them oh, by the last word in their name? <laughs> yeah. oh <my> God. <laughs> I think... We would like the game to end at some point. All right, take back the last 400 plays, please. <laughs> just start it over. Just start it over. We're, we're just rewinding back to the beginning of GI, okay? A better time. No, it was what not. What did you do at the start of your turn? What did I do at the start of my turn? Yeah. All right, to bring the viewers and the Joe up to speed, uh, Brent tributed Blaster for Hazy Flame Sphinx. Uh, hit the Sphinx effect, summoned another Sphinx, overlaid for Gauntlet Launcher. Oh, so you did it so twice you on Susan Owo. And Blast then Danny. Turn. Yes, I did Blaster this turn. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Danny Bujinji turtled twice to protect Susan Owo. Where did the okay, turtle so... come from? I don't know. They were just. Oh, well, the first one was the monster discarded slides. from something. Yeah. Um... It was like, summoned with Upstart Golden Ninja or something like that. Okay. <laughs> if it can tr if Bell's an opponent's monster, so you can't just collude it for game if you do a direct attack. Uh, so you uh, do correct. that, you kill my launcher. Can you do anything else that could possibly kill me? What's Not correct? What do you mean? Sure. That you're gay. Oh my god. Uh, I think I'll just. Pitch boulders and lightning. Oh, you're trying to kill or... me. Tempest? In defense. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Do I want I to attack here? Um what you deal twenty four to me? Well you have to use it. Uh I'll put an attack, yeah. Yeah, this is interesting, because if you force out the crane, unless he has something else, he can't beat Gauntlet Launcher. Wait, um... Can cranes chain to each other? <laughs> what? Uh, Doubles the... Uh, Wait, original, original attack? Let me check. Uh, okay, so, okay. It only stays at 48, even if you do, too. The Yu-Gi-Oh! designers are surprisingly consistent in making sure doubling effects can't double again. Unless well, you're with the exception of limit limit limit. removal. Yeah, I guess so. We just immediately both went there, Gavin. Clown to clown <laughs> communication. <laughs> I mean, I guess they learned their lesson. I think yeah. Megamorph also is current attack. Megamorph no, is Megamorph actually is original the attack. Why do I know that? Joe because I cheated. the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by putting okay, Megamorph well. on Injection Fairy Lily. I'm gonna inject- You know what I appreciate about you, Joe, is that I can dangle the the thinnest possible thread of a joke in front of you, and you will take it all the way, I'm, and make it I'm, actually funny. I'm, I bite every time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> is that really the bite question? of 87? <laughs> Shut up. Can I have a rolling question, please? Yeah. This fucking so, game is taking so five Susano, nights. Well, if a Susano attacks each monster once each, once I if you destroy the second monster, what happens? You do it's not done get a attacking. I assume. Once Say you again. Get, once you attack a single time, uh, you can only attack monsters for the remainder of the turn. What do you mean? You can't so, go direct after you attack a monster. That. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do Susano. Okay. 
Say the full name of the card, please. Yeah, the, I don't, is there a <laughs> no. card called Susano? Susano? Yeah, Susano. I don't know what that... Gentis Susano? Shut up. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like the legendary ocean problem. Can you just, can you just, no. uh, can you just please say the name of the card? <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, the name of the card is Susano Wo. <laughs> Is that what you like wanted? A, can we get like a nya at the end there? No, yeah. <laughs> shut up. No, Danny, come on. You're a streamer. Come uh, on, yeah. you, have, you have to do what chat says. <laughs> you have to do everything <laughs> chat says. Okay, I'm so not... we're going to grab a Fidian here. What the fuck is that? Whoa, show me that card again. What the fuck was that? Oh my this god. Is... Here, I'll, I'll special it to show you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Fidian. What the this fuck? This allows you to attack directly. Oh. Correct. No. Uh-oh. Okay, that's just wondering if, Just wondering if I have lethal. <laughs> All right, let's just clear the board. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see lethal. So we're going to go to battle. We will attack a uh, Tempest. And in damage step, we will crane. And then we are going to Bougie and Regalia to add back Crane. That's neat. So yeah, we will Crane again uh, for Launcher. I think I have to do this. Is there a way I lose to this? I don't think so. No, just count the number of fucking guys in the graveyard. Well, the number of guys in the graveyard is actually a little bit... Oh no, it's totally uninteresting. Never mind. I was going to say that the Hazy Flame Sphinx don't work, but I forgot Blaster was in Grave. Why did the Crane go back to Graveyard? Because he Bujin Regali and then did it again to make sure that he could actually get over the Gauntlet Launcher. During that damage calculation only. Oh yeah. my god. That's... I mean, you know, you doubling, imagine? giving... A hand trap that gives your guy 2,400 extra attack is pretty broken still, so... Yeah. I mean, Bujin was crazy. No, yeah, this deck's sweet. Bujin was the deck that broke Kaiser Coliseum, right? That is correct. Uh, though not the reason it got banned. How was Kaiser Coliseum good in this deck? I don't really understand. You're summoning one monster, Bujin Yamato, and then you just look at your opponent and you go, go. Oh, uh, just because Crane, you just have Crane in hand and Turtles in Grave and you just can't die. And the outs to Yamato are like, it's Gemini Elf stats, so the outs are Xyz monsters, which they can't make if they're under KC. Oh, uh, interesting. I guess this is the play. Hmm. This is a little Ooh. challenging because Danny's had a lot of good stuff so far this game, but Brent has a lot of potential bounce back with the grave build up here. This is a huge pickup. I'm going to summon Joseph. This is a huge pickup. Mm. Oh, oh my god, it's Joseph mm. Rothschild Dragon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Get the weather machine. Okay. Uh, actually, instead of Poke Draco, I'm gonna pitch. Um... You click. You click. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, I have to. I have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You click. I click. I did click. You're right. <laughs> you actual click. Uh, yeah, I think summoning this just guarantees the game. Um. All right, dude. Danny. Nah, so you got cool. it. Oh, okay. It was, it was, uh, I, I misplayed there, but that was, that was a good one. Oh, man. Ooh. Yeah, that was a crazy one. Danny, and that was a valiant I, attempt. I got to tell you, you know, I do feel like you got kind of dragon rulered, as I imagine we're all going to be, but, uh, that was a sick deck. Yeah, that was, yeah. that was very good. Come on, Gavin. All right. I, I, I have, I have, have a. I have some. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing oh, both sides, so Gavin I come with the out 55. on top. 55 cards. 50, 55 cards, cards currently undefeated. This has got to be some stupid hypergeometric bullshit, right?
I was going to make a, a joke that would age me 70 years. Hit it. No, I can't. Years. I can't. I can't. It. It'll make me it. an actual boomer. You gotta hit it. Um, <laughs> do, do any of you remember 55? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds vaguely familiar. my IQ. Not a Fifty-five. Old South Park joke. Anything in standby nope. phase? No. Leah. What? Do I have anything in standby phase? No. Don't have trap dust shoot. Anything <laughs> in standby? <laughs> this motherfucker touched it. What's wrong? You? Get, get the, I would slap you upside the head if I was there. It's Come on, yeah, literally. Question. Why are you on Gavin's penis about this? Oh, uh, standby. Normal I'm... summon ferret. I'll take seventeen. I'm I'm here for you, Gavin. I'm in your corner this week for the first time ever. For the first time ever. Okay, main phase two. Let's uh God, ever since Gavin started playing standard, he's you know, going through all the phases and asking questions. <laughs> Dust night. I don't Dust like this I don't, bitch. I don't like these questions you're asking. Dust night, huh? <laughs> we're 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 dust nighting. What the what? What do you mean we're no? It's awesome. I I just want to. I I just want to clarify. We went up to fifty five, so we added a card that searches the card we want. Can Um, you just confirm that for me? Yeah, we had a desk. We had it was the addition was Dust Knight. Listen, there's a card Uh, I'm gonna ban, and it's not a Dragon Ruler. Leah, I think that you're uh you're not thinking about this properly. The card we want is Dust Knight. Whoa. Yeah, just think, he attacks for 14. Oh, fuck, I could have got in for more. I'm bad. I'm excited to see your deck, Joe. Yeah, me too. I haven't learned how to play it yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I think I'll gear 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 in the end. Oh, oh my god. Excuse me, Leah? You're like, oh, oh, oh. oh during testing, <laughs> this, this girl is like, oh, do you have any gear gear gear? That's a really good card anyway. I do. <laughs> uh, we'll summon the gear gear here. Wow. Yeah, this is awesome. You can't summon yeah. two Gear Giano. What? Yeah, we'll, we'll summon these two. Yep. No, you and can't... increase their levels by one. What? <laughs> you can't summon two Gear Giano. Well, Why? Yeah, it's a special summon two Gear Giano monsters from your deck. Yeah, mon- you can't be the same one twice. What the? Shut up. up. Oh my god, just ignore him. <laughs> They're racist. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. This is fretophobia. Oh, <laughs> okay. I, I let's let's just get this out of the way now. We'll just get this out of the way now. Uh, is the gear gear archetype Italian? Yes. <laughs> Are we meant to be pronouncing it <laughs> like gear giano? Right. Yeah, that's what yeah, that's what oh, Gavin did. I'm literally that's scared. Joke. I'm sorry. I, I hate you guys. We're, we're, we're dealing, sit asleep. Yeah, we're attempting to deal psychic violence to Siberian in their sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we're gonna overlay <laughs> these Gergianas. That a genie is the optimal noodle. <laughs> oh no way! We're gonna detach, baby. We're gonna <laughs> add that oh Kage to Kage Thumbs to up. hand. That's not to hand. I like we that we specialed it. That's a game loss. <laughs> uh, PE we minor. Have to clear the sensing fire ferret, I guess. Why? I don't know. I mean, I guess I could kill new it, but yeah, you're right. Um, you click, you click, yeah, you, click you, know, you click, you click, you click. it. Why not? <laughs> you click. Oh my god, you click. You Gavin's click, like, I don't give a click. shit. Mean two. We'll set a whole bunch here. I think. Is it gonna do fucking heavy storm? <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead. Gavin right. sets two Abyscorn and Storm. <laughs> Let's brainstorm. Uh, what did Leah? Oh my God! Shut up, Gavin. Have in her hand <laughs> that requires her to set gear, gear, gear. Turn one. Anything in anything in standby? No. Okay. What, what do you think I would do in standby? There's no Jeez. standby phase effect cards in this form. Hey, he's, he's trying to get me ad correctly. revenue, Gavin, but. You know, we don't need it. <laughs> oh, oh my god, you have sacred. Yeah. This man literally playing constructed. Do you have rejuve too? Is that is that is that cool? That's fine. What'd you banish? I banished uh, redox. redox. The boulders. Christ. And we get to add off redox. Yeah, Jesus redox Christ. effect is fine too. <laughs> She's like, I'm not happy about it. Oh, uh, 
Mm. So my my thoughts in playing not Dragon Rulers was I was actually afraid of seeing the trap again. <laughs> Wait, you were? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't. I, someone's just gonna flip the trap card on me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It was part of it, but I really did love the Bujinkis. I guess I'll uh, I'll just go Ebbles. Wow. Battle phase. Sure. Attack. When does Fencing Fire Ferret's ability activate? The damage step. Okay. On attack deck, all impenetrable attack. My King of the Feral Imps saying can't be destroyed by uh, card of bat battle, fel battle or card effects. That That's was based. Good. That was very based, wow. Leah. Okay. Okay. Ferret trades for the trap. It's pretty good. Um, And then in main two... Going to storms here. I really like King of the Feral Imp Kage to Kage shenanigans. Feels smart. Right. So Kage to Kage sleek. is a really good card that I just straight up thought we didn't have. I was like, it's a rare. People would have been playing it. We banned Goblinburg first week. And you're Detach. mostly right. I only pulled one. Oh, but Leah, who doesn't you stream her polls, Leah, has though. Three. You have to be Not kidding me. Leaving her oh, I took yeah. the other one out of the list. Oh, my no. <laughs> what is wrong with me? What? Awesome. Well, it looks That's like no awesome, level actually. Of poll cheating can beat the... the... Appa apparently. <laughs> apparently. IQ, you know? Yeah, well, you know. Um... I actually have like a kind of good turn lined up here, which is a little strange to say. Uh, you have a lot of stuff in grave. Do you think H fucks the other person on impenetrable attack? Huh? Isn't that like his sidekick? <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? What's yeah, the first so of being a sidekick? I thought it was so you name is... railed by the heroes. Where's the H? It's on his head. Yeah, hence his superhero name is H. It's what That's Joe is H? trying to get across. Well, he's either H or Triangle from Squid Game, and I'm not going to pull that out. <laughs> I think we've exhausted Among Us enough that we don't need to jump to the next one. People already do the next one. Is, isn't there this stupid meme where it's like, Squid games with like exclamation yeah, points or whatever. Unfunny. It's I find really those unfunny. hilarious. I have not had to smile at those. We're gonna go Gigi Accelerator and we're gonna special Kage Takage here. Okay. Damn. I'm gonna full force the Kage Takage. Okay. We're okay. going to attack into the Tempest. All in the draw step. Grave. We will hit over Reactin. So that's uh, it's going to be 5 and 14. Yeah, and I'll deal 14. And then in main 2, we are going to... I actually don't even know if I want to overlay these guys, hilariously. Um, I actually think, yeah, I'm just going to pass on that. Hmm. I show Leah the cool Gear Gear engine. She's like... This is my. No, I knew now. the Girgia engine was cool. I mean, listen, Accelerator's crazy no, here. Know. Like, with it one Girgiano in Grave, it loops infinitely with the Girgiano. It's true. Well, um, banish I mean, drafts and this for. But, you know, my. As the mayor of New York would say, my swagger Storms. helped convince you to play it. Yes. Sure. Uh, battle phase, I'll try to get over the king. In damage step, we'll spike shield with chain. Son of a bitch. Wow, that's rough. Okay. Uh, yeah, you got it. Oh. What? Why don't oh. I get this match? Oh. Why don't I get this match? <laughs> oh my god, I spent the whole Christmas break losing to Gavin in playtesting. Roll up with Girgiano, summon King of the Farallimps. Well, Brent, fancy seeing you here. Well, what's the ratio of this card sleeve you have here? All right, oh. I'll just let you know. If this video gets 5,000 likes, I will come.
and I just won the dollar wow. coming anyway. Fifty six. Mr. Beast, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was Jack Jack Septicai. Upside down. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Mr. Beast. You may remember me from Mr. Morning. Beast. Oh, what the fuck? Beast. What are we playing? Fire Fist? Shut up. Hey guys. God. Die. <laughs> just like, just like fuming. Oh Shut the fuck up, <laughs> idiot! Yeah, it's just like insanely mad for no <laughs> reason. I mean, I, you telegraph the deck you're playing with. I, your I roll it. I roll it in the match, and I go. I fucking hate you. Uh, what was the name? <laughs> what was the What was the name of this set? Judgment of Light. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Here we go. <clears> hmm. <throat> Uh, I'm going to activate Lightning Dragon Ruler of Drafts. Uh, we are hmm. going to send Mecha Phantom Beast Tetherwolf to the grave. Ooh, let's Ooh. go! The Ooh. actual beast! Let's go! All right, so here's oh, let's go! Uh, this then awesome. we'll activate oh, this awesome. Reactin. Oh, what? Oh, what? my god. Wait, is he just playing Tetherwolf because it's a generically good card? And then we will mm, uh, make oh just a really and quick, there it is a quick one here. There's there the, the band this Drake week, folks. Oh my and god! And there it is. He has Drake as uh, In fact, yeah, I you do. see Leah. The, Leah, you're a fake fan. Uh, if you watched MBT at twitch.tv slash MBT Yu-Gi-Oh, oh, you'd know that he pulled uh, Mecha Fan of Beast Drake right, He good has good, Drake Sack. What the fuck? Huh. <laughs> Sorry, Brent. This is gonna be yes. a rough one. No, I think I can out it. Yeah, probably. Oh. True. All we have not to do too, is clear all bad. the tokens and then. And then okay, battle so this it. Isn't and a then quick battle the other least. Black Falcon. Okay, okay. This isn't a quick effect. Oh, it's not? I shouldn't have summoned it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of shocked me summoned it on an empty floor. To be honest. Oh, so I, this is what makes Dragon Rulers good when you just make an unbeatable seven, huh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, historically, this is what the deck did: is it made a dumb seven? Is and it then, just made Dracosack? Well, they were like, "Well, we should ban Dracosack," and then they were like, "We'll just make Big Eye." I mean, you got to ban the fucking engine, and eventually they did. Yep. Good. Does anybody own Big Eye? By the way, wasn't mm -hmm. it earlier in Zexal? Well, I mean, oh. I'm a big guy. I guess it is in XYZ. Sure. Oh, that's what I like to see. That is oh, pretty fine. good. You know, that's like removing a... Rem that, that's basically getting rid of a piece of removal. Mm, okay. All right. I'm still with you. Oh, oh I actually do button. I actually do see this. Okay. I'm so confused. Yeah? No, I, I understand where we're going with this. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll do Sue Effect to pop the back row. Ooh, hate to do this now. Oh, uh, well, that actually is enough mm. to Yikes. save you. So, wow. if that was exactly the right card to not get your gauntlets launched. It sucks because I'm Hold like, up. oh, I should ban gauntlet launcher. That shit literally ruined my day. But no. Oh, come on. Just ban the I fucking know, rulers, you dingle. Yeah, just ban. We, I, we should I'm just ban banning rulers. rulers over here. None of y'all are. Why don't you guys lose more, huh? I'm I was trying, trying to lose. <laughs> Start was, admitting defeat to me. I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh so that I could lose and ban the rulers, and Gavin had to foil my plans by playing a fifty-five card deck. All right. The deck so let's talk good. about the mind. God damn. <laughs> I think I'll just do it anyway. Sure. <clears throat> and just pop the two tokens. Uh, sure. Uh, stinks. Stand by me. Wow, yeah. All right, uh, so Oh, my God. Bla so Black Falcon. Do it again. Is... <clears throat> Black Falcon uh, is the killer here. here. Oh, my God. He... Draco Sack could do it again. I'm dumb. I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll pop the, um... Yeah, I'll pop the Gauntlet Launcher. Um... Wow, turns out this guy's somebody turn one. <laughs> 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 no, don't get punished for it. Oh jeez! Wow, 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 wow! Why did they let this <laughs> ever happen? All right, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go react in lightning. We're gonna bring out tempest. You're so good, dude. Combat. God. 
Oh, right, Draco Sack can't attack the turn that yeah. it, uh... God, I okay. wish. I would just have lethal, and then I'll trigger this as well. God. Yeah, I mean, the card's pretty underpowered. Maybe they should remove that attack restriction. I think that you're right, actually, <laughs> liberal. One of the few <laughs> times in Yu-Gi-Oh! where the designers were like, you know, maybe we should put a restriction on this card, and it was correct. It was... And that's why, historically, no one has ever played Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack. Yeah, to this day, yeah, it remains exactly. one of the biggest what ifs in Yu Gi Oh history. <laughs> right after, uh, right after, what if fifty five was the optimal card number? Pokey Draco, Marvel Summit, Pokey yep. Draco. This is the, as powerful as Alistair. The in, Knox in brothers, the Knox brother spirit lives on. Ooh, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Redox. Is, is this the fabled Redox pass? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Wait. Let's Spanish go. Pokey Draco. Oh, that's okay. Really good. That's a good oh, ad. That's a really good ad. That's not terrible. Now you not show terrible. me your Draco sack. <laughs> oh, I mean, <laughs> could you imagine? It'd be, it'd be something. <laughs> You're like, please no. Um. So somebody in the comments said that the name of this card was not Draco sack. It was something Russian. Hmm. All right. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna inform you all of something about Draco Sack, and likely you have yeah, likely you have already seen it. Uh, but I'll just inform you regardless. Um, uh, Draco Sack has a little head. No, I've noticed. Yeah. No, the head is cool. Has it? Oh, no, it's, it's, it's actually really cool. Yeah. Oh my god, it has a head. Right, it has a little of course, head. Of course, of course, Gavin. I of thought course. it was just a plane. No, it, for some reason, it just looks like a plane. But yeah, it has a little head. Well, it's no, also that's, got that's... a. It's also got like a real tail, not like a plane tail, right? If I'm, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, yes, Lee, I think you're right. It has the tail. Uh, I think all of the extra deck Mecha Phantom Beasts become actual like monsters I, I guess they're all like animals ish you know like black uh, penguin penguin this one is kind of crusty right this is a little crusty crusty god for so many attack for me uh, I, don't, I, mean... I don't know how I'm, i don't know how i'm really outing redox here waiting <laughs> and he's got three yeah, what's more dragons do? Did you, did you learn anything from Gage? It's no. unbeatable. It's unbeatable. It's you. It's unbeatable. Meaning Sorry, right. it's, it's like, unbeatable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the? Misspoke. Misspoke. <laughs> I would like if they called that in the Senate. Like you some click, you click. Republican <laughs> sen yeah, some, yeah. some Republican <laughs> senator is like, I think that Gage Senator Grassley, you click. Tolerable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um... <laughs> oh, filibuster gone. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna react. Please. In... Okay. <clears throat> oh, this is pretty good. It's okay. I'll banish the other boulder. I wish Tether Wolf was a dragon. God damn it. Okay. Uh, we'll go. <laughs> react in. Heather Wolf to summon Tempest. Seems right. Uh, thinking about switching Dracosac to attack mode. Yeah. Go combat. We'll go Tempest in like this. Yeah. Creating uh, Tempest. Sure. Black Falcon in like this. <clears throat> Oh, okay. And then Dracon like this. Getting kind of low here. Now, All right, back to you, pop? buddy. Okay, pop. for those at home, before you before oh, you right. type an angry comment, uh, Black Falcon can't die. Oh, wait, no. Redox was in defense. Uh, anyway, you Black type Falcon an angry can comment, attack. Make sure it's directed at Leah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Even if it Redox attacks an attack position monster, it lands. And somehow, no, not yet. Oh no, it's summoned. Never mind. We're all doing great. So tonight. I mean, yeah, this is great. So uh, what Joe it? has a scapegoat token, but they're actually Mecha Phantom Beast token. Ooh, 
So, wouldn't, DQ. Wouldn't a redeclare happen uh, if you attack with Black Falcon? Uh, no, because it's some no. on the other side of the field. So, one, no. Oh, it's yeah. on your own, And right. two, I will use I'm my redeclare to create the same attack. For sure. I, was just I guess I would say no if I had the opportunity to, right? <laughs> like, I get the yeah, token that I'm that like, I will not attack. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Best of both worlds. That's true. The best. The fact that Black Falcon here continues to make the tokens for Drake Asak is so just good. In yeah. insane. Yeah. That's the idea. It's, all, it's almost like the Mecha Phantom Beasts have synergy. Mm. <laughs> Leah, like, minute, reading an archetype for the first time. Wait, invocation Wait can summon a monster that uses Alistair the Invoker as a material. <laughs> Incredible. Wait a minute. <laughs> Susano, Susano gets a bougian. Wait, the bougians are beast warrior. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Jivoid plus steam <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, I'm going to do redox effect. Oh, okay. It's a special okay. summon. Sue, so. still with you? Ooh. I'm going to Drag Incarnation. Ooh. Okay. No I'm going to get Asset to hand. Yep. Going to try doing Sue to pop your back row. Uh, okay, sure. Another one. Jeez. Okay. Yes. Another one. Well, regardless, Brent doesn't have two gauntlets, I'm assuming. We're going to find out. I guess so. So use Redox this turn. Um, banish Pokey. Asset for Storms. Still with you. Okay. Overlay these two. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. The second Gauntlet launcher. Yeah, the oh second my one. God. Oh, some people oh, have all the luck. Yes, dude. We can't even out the Draco sack yeah, here, can. which is so funny. Have you heard of the concept of a battle phase? What? Oh, yeah. See ya. Mm. <laughs> 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 Danny. Oh, like another one? I'm still on the upkeep right now. Cool. Ah, that's annoying. Ow. All right, oh, that was quite how am I supposed to beat that? Right, he does have go. a double. He do be having double gauntlet launcher apparently. Oh. Too bad Joe has double Drake sack. That's really funny. Oh, that would be <laughs> very funny. Wow, we're playing some Yu-Gi-Oh here, gentlemen. Son of a bitch! You lied to me, Leah. About what? Black Falcon is a quick effect. I could have stopped that entire line. When did I lie to you? You said it isn't a quick effect. <laughs> I said Drake Asak wasn't a quick effect. Oh my god. Oh, during either... Oh, I just read it as well. Okay. Uh, for what it's worth, you, you couldn't have, right? Because you would have tributed a token to change Gauntlet Monster to defense. He would have mm -hmm. cleared the other token and then have done the same thing. Sorry, done what same thing? Uh, like... There were two tokens. You uh -huh. would tribute one token, then he would attack the other token, and then he would still gauntlet launcher the Draco sack and the black With the face down yeah. gauntlet launcher. Face down? Face no, down. change it to face, face up. Face up. Face up. Face up. Face up. Mind. This card's it doesn't terrible. Book of Moon the guy. Yeah. <laughs> this card sucks ass, right. actually. Oh my god, you thought it Book of Moon the guy? I thought god, that'd be crazy. Oh, well, I haven't read it at all, clearly, so. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> this is no Atum moment, but it's... It's pretty good. Oh, jeez. This is rough. Hmm. Oh, he's got so many more dragons than me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, what? I just got a private chat. I'm not fucking with you from VVV Trevor Allen 2.0. Do you what remember they say? this guy? Oh, my God. What'd they say? If no, we brick no. tonight, just give me the password and I'll crash playoffs again so the game restarts and you get a new hand. <laughs> Incredible. Literal <laughs> cheating. Collusion. <laughs> DB, DB was down earlier today, so it a, a real threat. It's a real threat. That's hysterical. Holy shit. God, they both have to have 24. Why are they such large men? 
All right. Um, um, okay, I'm going to Tempest. Banish yep. Black Falcon and I'm thinking on the second one. Re... Throw sack. Okay. <laughs> Fair. Still with thinking. you. Is it an interesting board because of how much life Joe has? He could soak a hit, but that life could disappear very quickly too. We're going to go react in redox for redox. Then we're going to normal bulb later. Okay. Okay. So we will bulb uh, That's later. pretty good. Uh, we'll go here. We'll crash. And then we'll hit for 16. Interesting. Yeah. Um, back to you, buckaroo. Okay. So I have to continue to answer with the the same d deal. That's the idea. Uh, it's a weird situation where Redox's a low attack value plays out a little strangely. Yeah. I'd so kill for only a blaster. Redox next turn. Yeah, I mean, if, if it wasn't Redox exactly, Brent would be dead. But also on Brent's side, his Redox doesn't apply that much pressure. Uh, but he does have a Tempest. It's a guy. Then again, yeah. so does Joe. You know, we have perfectly symmetrical violence here. No, oh, except one of the violences is backed up by eight uh, dragon rulers in the grave. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's it's the U.S. claiming we have perfectly symmetrical violence. Yeah. Mm hmm Yep. Mm-hmm. Take 800 here. Sure. See, with the current state of things, though, Brent can't redox and Tempest on his next turn, which is a little fucky. It's true. If that's like a face-down dragon incarnation, that could be big, but otherwise... Uh, I have to redox here. I'll trigger Tempest. That's, that's good. Yeah, that is that is cards. Uh, we'll go grab um, Lightning Ruler of Drafts. This is a pretty pivotal redox, I feel like. Yeah. Go ahead. This is kind of like a stabilizing redox. Oh, uh, these games are so tough. Yeah. The rough ones. One thing that this has impressed upon me is that uh, Draco Sack is literally less powerful than Gauntlet Launcher. <laughs> oh, no. Gauntlet Launcher is insane. Yeah, Gauntlet Launcher is actually... Uh, I don't know if it's less powerful than Gauntlet Launcher, but, you you, you know, this game I mean, is certainly how, making it how many How many pops is Gauntlet Launcher? No, 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 listen, you're, I understand. This game is certainly making a case. Mm. Certainly making a case. It doesn't matter. Gavin has a ban. I'll do a redox effect Yeah. to search. Sure. Yeah, Gavin's banning aerial recharge or something. For sure, yeah. Dog, this is a super. I'll oh, get what oh. dragon. Sure, yeah. <laughs> this was like definitely a common. <laughs> it's like like now I'm doubting myself. I know this card is like a common. Yeah. Yeah, this card's a common. Is it actually great? I have zero of this card. Another fun card that I don't get because I do my pulls on stream. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> You know, I can certainly feel the tension in this one, but this is a hell of a game. Jesus. Oh, God. I mean, I just have to go for it. <laughs> uh, we'll banish Redox and Lightning for Tempest. Okay. Redox effect. Ha 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 ha. Imagine. Redox effect. Ha 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 ha. Oh, oh the bubbles. <laughs> Uh, bulb later. <gasps> uh, well, wait. Um, is this it? 
Oh, oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. god, that's so <laughs> tilting. That's god, that's so <laughs> tilting. I'm, I am tilted I on. I am tilted I on could behalf have of Brent. That was survived another yeah. turn. Yeah, I know. It's it's like, oh. do you breed or do? There you... are two bad decks. Uh, I, I can't even lie about this one. This Holy so... fuck! This is a high-powered losers final. This is a high-powered high format. My god. Yeah, this yeah. format is extremely high powered. I mean, dragon rulers, but also yeah. like really good, like really powerful decks just involving the dragon rulers. Where that. the dragon ruler isn't the only thing. Leah, you have not seen the second half of my deck yet. Oh no! <laughs> no, no, no. There's still, uh, no. There's the still more surprises be? to be had. I'm like you're also playing mind drain somehow. <laughs> <laughs> like offensive mind. Drain. Right. Danny, playing against Dragon Rulers for the first time this tournament, how do you feel? Mm. Thanks, Leah. Imagine playing High Relics. So, I mean, like, like seriously, imagine playing High Relics. Imagine playing Seriously. Blaster. Imagine God. playing... Imagine being a loser. I mean, imagine... <laughs> like me. <laughs> Danny, are you also playing not 40? Uh, 42. So, let me get this straight. In case of mail. Two people playing no. three card decks, <clears throat> and they're in the finals, you know. I could have cut two cards. I, I didn't get to cut them before, You know, I, I could have cut two. You know, that's one thing fault. that's been interesting about watching Joe and Simo in history is how often the lists they're playing are playing, like, 41 or 42, just because the pilot's like, Cheater. yeah, I don't know, I just wanted that card in my deck. No frequently, oh, well, yeah. cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is this is uh this is history after dark. Oh, we had to stop using Adam Corn lists. Da 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 da. da. <laughs> <laughs> so they're just playing forty two, so they can cheat the no, exact answer no, card. Often, more often. often the difference between forty and forty two is not noticeable in terms of like percentages, but having like an extra uh like utility card to search is. No, that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes playing 42 simply because you can't fit all of the answers you want to have eventual access to in your deck is like good. I think that um we as players are kind of locked into the idea of 40 being correct. Um I think during like Dragon Link formats, some of the best minds in Yu-Gi-Oh made really compelling cases for like 45, 50 card decks just by virtue of like a diversity of hard once per turn starters and extenders being more important than like always finding the same start and extension line and um you know uh, th that has mostly disappeared because of the way uh releases have been and the way decks have been built recently um but um on a separate note luminize luminize you know the bougians are all light and luminize didn't stop being good luminize this is a pretty luminizer, sweet turn danny's having luminizer baby you 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 are you, you, you. The more we've played with Upstart Golden Ninja, the more I've been like, this card's kind of crazy. Golden Ninja was crazy until, like, 2014. <laughs> like, Ninja Pitch a Trap for Hanzo was, like, a power play at table 500 for, like, half a decade. Uh, so, can I go back a bit, actually? Sure. Thank you. So let me get this straight. Hieratic Dragon of Asset, Luminize. We're in week, like, four again. Come on. We're still summoning Hanzo. But I'm doing this the fourth time. Oh, oh my gosh. Four. Okay. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I have a quick logistical question, Danny. Yeah. Um, how exactly did you do that? Because Golden Ninja uh, sure. just so, says from deck. It doesn't say... Yeah, Golden Ninja, Golden Ninja, Golden Ninja, Hanzo. But wasn't yeah. one of them in your hand? No. One was added no. off of Hanzo. Yeah, oh, I, I added the uh, upstart golden ninja to hand, but instead I'm saying uh, the third golden ninja is going to we'll special get from golden deck, ninja, which and we'll then get that Hanzo. last one is going to special Hanzo. Who will not uh, and I guess this this triggers Hanzo actually. Do you have yeah. another target? I do. A second Hanzo. You yeah. know he's playing uh, that Earth Armor Ninja. No, it's a Bisu. Oh yeah, that makes. Oh sense. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's pretty good. Damn, what a turn. Whoa! Oh, there it is. Oh. Entry. Let's go. All right, we'll have it. Okay. This card's sweet. Battle. This card is yeah. This uh, is so like this is eleven. I believe. Uh, Fourteen yeah. minus twenty-five. I'm at. 
Oh, 14, yeah. So, like, not to get, like, gender essentialist, but this card is, like, the opposite of a penis card. I don't know what that would be. Um, the anti-penis. Oh, the make nightmare penis. penis. <laughs> the sigma penis. <laughs> this is... The Cunep? No. The space up card <laughs> would be destroyed. You can detach all would material you? if you. We can't go it. around calling things Volvo cards. So. Snipe penis. Yo, that shit is a Volvo. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that shit looks no. like. A it Volvo. Just it just doesn't work. It feels it just weird and icky, okay? So no! The now, dust knife! That shit looked like the battle pass. Oh my god. Yeah, that shit looks like the battle pass. <laughs> my god. Dude, we get Redox nice. here. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's not that's or, a or fantastic. Or we get Blaster. <laughs> we could also get Blaster. Oh, the battle pass. Dust knife. A Fortnite. Oh, oh, okay. I understand. Oh, you actually added a joke to it. I literally was just saying this shit looked like the battle pass. <laughs> <laughs> If you build the joke, they will come. <laughs> Banishing no, the parsec. What is not this? Parsec. Okay, we'll oh, parsec the oh, interstellar. Danny, you're so good at Yu-Gi-Oh. Wait, wait, I'm, wait, I'm just too good. TikTok <laughs> is so crazy this week. We should have been playing trap yep. tricks. Well, let's oh, I'm, I'm playing <laughs> TikTok. <Danny. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> wait, trap trick isn't legal. Okay. The trap tricks monsters are. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, but they don't do anything yet. True. They search yeah. Deep Dark Trap Hole. Yeah, like one time. Deep Dark Trap Hole is like a super. There's a real super or a Dragon Carnation super? <laughs> a real super. It was an actual super. Dragon Carnation was a common. <laughs> oh my god. This was a, this was a rare, apparently. On a a oh, so it wasn't. So it falls between Dragon Carnation and Wind Up Bat on the super rare scale, right? <laughs> <laughs> you mean between common and rare? Wait, no. Fucking fuck you. I'm literally Bat gaslighting you. I'm legitimately oh, gaslighting you right now. That Between's probably uncommon. That's probably like common, rare, uncommon. You mean short print common? We stay in a short print. <laughs> I'm just like God not even. It. I'm not even telling jokes. I'm just God saying things that have the cadence it. of comedy. No, I'm mad. I'm I just. I'm just you. out here like. You're just Family Guy. Yeah, I'm me. literally Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Peter, remember that internet meme? Oh yeah. Yeah, Lois. I, I can't do Peter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lois. <laughs> hey, Chris, or remember for... the time I star Sarah? Se no, that's Joey. I'm doing Joey. <laughs> I prefer Gex. Can we get some Gex in here? This board sucks more than vacuum cleaner night at Tom Chinston's house. <laughs> wow, that was there really go. good. I was like, is he going to be able to do it? Like... <laughs> okay, uh, Dust Knight and Essence. That's <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty sure. <laughs> Note to self, don't normal summon Hazy Flame Sphinx at Gavin's house. That's fine. <laughs> get a monster. Okay, Dog. pretty good. Okay. Yeah, you're, right. you're pretty this good at the game. The whole deck I mean, there's 50 monsters. Yeah, the whole deck monsters. Zero way this does. Oh no! Work. I mean, Sphinx always hits. I think yeah. I think that they're playing like monster slots as their spell. I think it's just monster slots and dragon incarnation. I don't. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin's definitely playing monster slots. Wish I'd draw a monster slot. This is such slot. a cool deck, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was actually no, about sick. to say the same thing, Joe. Uh, all memes it. aside, this list is fucking sick. You'll it's have to talk to everything. us in, uh, in post game about why fifty five, but yeah, sure. I'll do the. Yeah, I, I do got to start... applaud you, Gav. This list is really cool. I want to start bad end again soon and actually be able. We've to missed it. The decks. Um, True. I have to determine. Missed it so much, I'm gonna steal it. I have to determine if I'm making a play here. For those at home, um, although both of the Knox brothers are doing the Knox special, Gavin is the mastermind behind this list, right? Yes. Yeah, this is my yep. deck. Well, yeah, you're playing it right now. 
Uh, Jules, don't even bother. Just, just fucking take that one out. He's I, just saying anything. I'm literally just like in like a sassy voice. Unfiltered and thoughts. It's just working on me. It's just working. It's just working on me. I'm so mad. Like, you know what just came into my head? I was like, yeah, I'll work on you. And then, you know, she'll go, hee hee. And then we'll go to the next joke and I'll do it again. <laughs> uh, if you do any buff, if this card would be destroyed, you can detach it all. Out my all stupid right. fairy with a bow. It's penis. Uh -oh. but... Whoa. It's okay, penis? Okay, well, we have the we have Are the you band, serious? Folks. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, oh, it's just so bad. I, ha I hate to remove your monster. That's a it's great so... <laughs> No, I mean, Gauntlet Launcher, at least it eats both pieces of Gauntlet Launcher. You, except for the ass it's... on the thing. No, well, I know, but I mean, is, like... This is do or die. Okay. Oh. All right, let's oh. go, baby. Let's go. <sighs> to banish the Bujingi turtle here. <laughs> oh, rough. I, I mean, I can banish any four-star, but uh, there's a certain card that I have to draw. Oh. <laughs> it's oh. not it. I mean, uh, I guess I get special. It does, yeah, it's, it's it does get some. Oh my god, wait, that is good. <laughs> wait, like, isn't that it? <laughs> wait a minute! <laughs> wait, that's... That was exactly what I needed. Yeah, I hate like... you so much, dude. <laughs> well, there was another card that I needed. Uh... Shit, I banished the wrong monster. Oh, well. Yeah, no duh. Okay, well, what do you want from me, dude? No, this seems it. pretty good. Oh, can I change it? it? Yeah, <laughs> can you, I take it wanna, back? Wanna, yeah, Hell you, yeah. Just banish the golden ninja. Like, why would you banish you? <laughs> so, well, no, there's there's a specific reason. Because if I draw Bujing Carnation, I need the Bujing banished. Oh, to, okay. To well, if you, intended, <laughs> if you intended to do that, I know, then... I know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Wait, is it literally like, oh, whoa, whoa, my bad. It was a misclick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I have to think what I get here. Mm. I was like, fuck. How can I cheat in the losers' <laughs> finals? <laughs> so, like, this, this is, is... what losers' finals all about. Oh, wait, hold up. I was like, this is cool in base, but I don't know how he wins. I'm like, oh. Gavin does not have blaster in rotation because Danny was playing that poo poo card. <laughs> I'm wondering if I give a shit about. No, I don't think I do. What did we uh, search with Suzunowo? I'm thinking right now on it. Uh, in my search. Suzunowo is crazy. It's either Foolish Burial or Stratos. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know why I'm thinking about this. This is Crane to hand. Yeah, isn't it just Crane? Uh, there's an argument for, this was, um, Gavin, did you, there's play an argument for, sorry, go ahead. What's up? No, go ahead, Dan. I was just going to say, there's just an argument for binning a turtle, but, uh, I think this is just the play. Uh, so Gavin, did you play during Bujin format? A little bit. So was this playing. was every Bujin player, right? They like think for 45 minutes and then add crane. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Is that true? Because that's because that's Great. kind of what it felt like. Ooh. Well, I drew exactly the card I needed. Well, of one course of them. you did. <laughs> yes, oh. bull wow. fucker. That's when the bull awesome. is blader. All right. Oh my go. god. Here we go, baby. Well, this isn't the worst. Huh? Wow, that's, yeah, that's the worst good. actually. Pretty that's good. actually the worst for me. <laughs> not ideal. <laughs> That was the worst. Why did we hit it? Why are we all hitting our monster slots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Gavin said it because 80% really of the deck is level 4s. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. I expect Wait, the draw. I don't expect the... This is a little underwhelming. Oh, th oh my god! Jesus oh, Christ. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's of course, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Literally oh, nice oh, that's a good one. That's an excellent one, dude. That's an excellent you draw. For it. <laughs> what are you looking at oh, the deck for, amazing. buddy? That fucks amazing. me up just a little bit. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, losers finals, <laughs> baby. Oh, that's why we're go. here. It's yep, like yep, that's pretty the good. Literal worst draw. Response to Bright Star Dragon. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> I don't have a response. Go. He's Blair, popping the fuck Blair off. Blair I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I said this I'd lose cool. to this shit. This is 
This wait, wait, cool. wait, wait, you wait. fucking wait. idiot. Once per turn. Yeah. What? What are you talking about? It's I the first it. line on the card. You already did it. Oh, once per turn. It's the you first already line. did it, you oh, bozo. You bingus okay. bungus. Can't you just like FTKing, summoning overlay 50 cards for... off your <laughs> you know I'll just, you I'll just overlay for fucking a Tom, I guess. Sure, yeah, whatever, dude. A cum. No, he's uh, playing three Wattail Dragon in I this list. I guess I'll just activate the effect of a Tum. Anyway, no, I'm No, yeah, I, I, I could have made a better play, but I did fuck up. You're right. It's You're, okay. You are, you are very correct. No whatever. I fucked up, so. Um, okay, are we, are we back in the yeah, canonical we're getting timeline you now? You cannot do that. No shot. Oh my god, yes, this can. is crazy. Yes, you can. Oh, we actually yes. have to we actually have to ban every ruler, huh? No, 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 no. This yep. deck is yep. sick, and I'm glad that we at least get to see this piece of it. So you overlay for a tum, which tutors out the dragon rulers, which is crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, but you you fail to consider that Danji ha Danny has Bujinji Ophidian, so you know. Anybody's mm -hmm. game. Mm hmm oh, Please do not activate a tomb again. <laughs> Please I'm begging you to find <laughs> the blaster effect to this Ophidian. I don't know why uh, I haven't conceded yet. I think I'm a masochist. You want to see it through to the end, Danny. Of you're course I do. Of course I want to see Gavin pop off in Losers. Well, you know, the deck is so cool. We owe it to the viewers to show them. The deck is good as fuck. Also, the he deck is blast, really good. But I did have the Deep Dark. Yeah, you put up a good fight. You know, your deck's good. So here's the problem. I think uh, I think the play with upstarts is good and was correct because uh, all the traps could just be deck. blown up. This deck is crazy. And yep, that's Gavin's good. Gavin's yeah. never going to mind out of any of this. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Okay. Did not play around Luminize? Are you fucking with me? Oh, sure. Last in hand, did not play around Luminize? Luminize! Oh. <laughs> I was so kind of shocked that we just didn't pop the back row there. Oh, <laughs> Sure, so that negates the attack. Okay, Again, I'm just, yeah. I'm getting caught up in the moment and making bad plays. Um, It's fine. I'm pretty sure you're still fine. Right, pretty, I'm pretty I think here. you've still got it, yeah. Danny, I think you can do this. So the line is the little button in the left-hand corner. I'm, I'm never giving up. Never surrender. <laughs> Trust your instincts. This guy's got 9 million attack. Uh, It's got... 35. 35. I should summon... probably kill the Tempest, but whatever. Why'd you summon Turtle? I don't know. To overlay? I don't know. Yeah, come on. You can make King of the Feral Imps. Be nice to him. No. Yeah, okay. fair enough. Yeah, you got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs>55 was that the deck was at like 44 and then leah called me a bastard and um, i just kept <laughs> adding cards to the deck Thoughts on I'm, this? Gonna deep dark, I'm gonna deep dark trap all this okay wow well, leah that was such a good deep dark trap hole you just did that for the first time and and then yeah, i used yeah. tempest to search tempest yeah you know and it would be crazy but but you can't tempest again because you already did a tempest dragon Ruler shut up effect you don't know what i can do <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know my, 
uh, you know my human potential. React in effect. The intense anger bit. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, so Redox this, pass. Okay. Redox so this effect. is just. Sorry, this was just react in effect, right? That's correct. Okay. Ooh. Okay, we haven't used a redox ah, effect okay, yet. Well. <laughs> that uh, was pretty simple, actually. Yeah, right? it, was, it was decent. Wait, didn't we? We haven't used a redox effect, right? Isn't that yeah. silly? No. Can't believe Accelerator gets its effect regardless of if it's popped or not. Uh, I will uh, drink a sack here. Sure. Uh, Alrighty. Normal summon Black Falcon. Wow. Hey, we've seen this before. God damn, you're so okay. Good. So before we take uh, twelve hundred, sir. Yeah, excuse, before we, excuse me, sir. Oh, you can't attack with it. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa, right. whoa, whoa! You're all very stupid. Oh wait, that you can't. Oh, we're all stupid. Right. 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 Gavin's the only good player. Dumb, dumb dummy, effect. big dummies. True. All right. So for the first time, we'll be entering the battle phase, and I'll attack. Okay, so before you take twelve hundred, that card is in defense position because Girga Arsenal special summons monsters in defense. <sighs> What? Yeah, I tried, yeah, I tried catching this when okay. it happened, but it's fine. Oh. I mean, the twelve hundred that I just took was from Black Falcon, obviously. So, well, in that, <laughs> if it's summoning in defense, I'll be attacking with Black Falcon. No. Yeah, okay. Then we'll get in for twenty six. Yeah. So, uh, just to set things right here, I'm taking twenty six from Drake. Asai. What a normal turn. That was yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, kind of everything happened in that one. That was very um, normal. Yeah, yeah, it was extremely, extremely regular, is how uh, I would describe it. Normal world, am I right? <laughs> what? I only just started oh, playing TCG again, so I don't really get that reference. Is it a reference I to do. New World, the, the, no, it's the a, new game that came out? It's a reference to the way people talk on Twitter. That too. Um, We're going to summon... A monster named Girgiano. Yeah, I'm sorry. You <laughs> the said a little monster. Gear, the little Girgiano that could, my friend. Yeah, that's okay. Fine. Sure. Um. Wow. Okay. Oh, I think I would get this far. Wow, we're not. Wow. All right. Now we're not ahead. reading. Oh I... yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You, you, want to just, you want to just take a token? <laughs> you want to trade him for a token? It doesn't even matter, man. No, I mean, it doesn't. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. So <laughs> All right, here, we'll just take oh my I'm god. Gyrgia, what do you want from me? I, I lost I lost to this. Gavin died for <laughs> this. Gavin died for this. Come on, I lost dude. to the good version of you guys. I played a fucking car You lost to the books versions of my deck. I lost the based version of it. Now, game. now, wait, 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 wait. Just Brent keep in mind, Mecha Phantom Beast Black Falcon can't make more tokens if you already have a full <laughs> board. Wait, am I am I allowed wow. to attack in that case? Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna get the accelerator? Oh, um, I mean, you... yeah, I was gonna get the Gear Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. triggers, right? Even with Girgiano negating its effect, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. And I will actually be getting the Accelerator because I'm based. Okay, so you named every card except the one you added to your hand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry about sorry. this, guys. It's 1 a.m. <laughs> guys, come on. All right. I'm going to set not, a card. It's not 1 yes. a.m., it's 12. Stand by main. Dice actually. Foon! Oh. Get on uh, the new one. Enjoy the fun. It's butterfly, yo. Oh damn, that's sick. wow. Guys, that butterfly would have mattered. Uh, Come yeah, on, this deck was engineered just to be Gavin. It would not matter at all. <laughs> Why? You I can have, just attack it. I have reacting. Oh my god, <laughs> I was going spike shield with chain. Yeah, that's, that's why I didn't do it. What are you talking about? <laughs> Robots. Oh, I, really man, did I take my can't deck. believe I lost. Uh, Gavin, I just want to be real with you. You would have wiped the fucking floor with me. Yeah, I. Well, it would have been a close mm. one. Well, you know, sometimes uh, the most skilled player wins, and uh, that's got to be me running it back for um, 
the yeah. 100% year win rate uh, the second time back in a row. Back. Yeah, and um, I'm happy to say that both times it was on the back of my own skill, had nothing to do with an Xyz that should have been banned, you know? True. I got to say, <laughs> you really uh, earned that win. Yeah, congrats it, on the back-to-back, -back, Joe. That's, that's no, That was good as fuck. Th thank you. I'm a little, are cool as fuck. They were, they were really good games this week. No, uh, no, this actually week was great. Games. I'm a little upset because like, I have a bunch of really bad cards in my deck, like Leo and Basilisk and the Atmosphere and Bhutan, but uh, I, I just didn't draw them. <laughs> <laughs> I could have easily... true. Uh, Just don't see the bad cards. It's no, awesome. but yeah. Also, Gavin and Brent's deck was insane. You know, Danny's deck was crazy. You know, Leah showed up, and I mean, won a game. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Leah was also here. That's a yeah. classic, Leah. Draw <laughs> your your sack card. Your one of super rare. Uh, open it, and then <laughs> my one of super rare. Okay. Explain to me what your, my one of super she, rare. The was. trap playing, you is she playing? Oh yeah, that gear? was my one of super rare. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> Is she playing Gear Gear Gear, or is it just kind of Shard of Greed with a sticker over it? You know? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you know, there are winners and there are losers every week. And this week, the losers were Gavin and Danny. So uh, before you do individuals, are you prepared for the mind melt? I am prepared. Uh, uh, I'm not. I have to predict what Gavin's going to ban. Oh, and yeah. There's... It's going to be real hard. Let me clue you in. Three. No. Well... <laughs> Ready? All right. Well, let's Three, do it. Three, two, one. Mecha Phantom, Mecha Phantom Beast, Beast Draco Sack. Oh my god, yeah. that was so difficult. Oh, so, well, crazy. okay. okay. The, the, uh, my band for the mind meld in my head was like, oh, it's it's clearly Gauntlet Launcher, but but Gavin. I, then I looked at Gavin's launcher. list, and Gavin yeah. has Gauntlet Launcher. Gavin I'm like, okay, it. this motherfucker yeah. is never going to ban Gauntlet Launcher. All right, so now well, I got to rethink the ban. Danny, you are uh, you are our first loser. Would you like to go first, or you want to make Gavin go first? Uh, Gavin, you gotta go first. This is whoa, 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 no Gavin. No Gavin won. That means he chooses you. I do not. Can I get care. any pity? Pity. I will go first. I will go first yeah. because I just have my band from two based. weeks. I was going to ban this card two weeks ago if I lost, and that's two weeks with the testing that we did. No, so not pre last episode feels super mm -hmm. crusty because it was not played. Um, but my ban is going to be mind drain, mind drain. Everyone, is you the are ban. such a fucking baby, dude. <laughs> you guys are bad at me <laughs> for banning I a fucking dragon it. ruler, and this guy bans the floodgate. <laughs> Rain you, is the ban, huh? You know that, like, we're banning all the rulers momentarily, Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Danny's banning a ruler right now, Yes! Huh? Oh. Well, Danny's... Danny oh. might not ban a ruler, but, like, you're oh, gonna get not. one week of drainless rulers, and I'm gonna be playing rulers if they're legal. Dude, I love this deck. I wanna play <sighs> for as long as I can, oh, no. and I don't wanna I, get beat by the floodgate. I understand. The deck is cool. You know, I Danny, what do you got for me? I don't know. I should have gone first. <laughs> did, did he take your ban? Were you gonna hit mind drain, and now now it's just awkward? No. You think I was gonna ban that awful floodgate? I don't give a fuck about that floodgate. Oh my god. You know they were high power, interesting games this week. They'll be high power. I'll, I'll tell you this, Danny. This I would know what my ban would be. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know your ban. Fuck, man. No, so no, no. Here, here, I will, here, I'm me, gonna let, talk. Let me tell you this. Process, let me tell you okay? this. I know my ban, and it's not a dragon ruler. Wow. I know my ban, too, and it's not a dragon ruler. But I I can't just not ban Blaster, right? You I'm, have I'm very Blaster! Conflicted. You, Danny, <laughs> let me tell you this. I know! The, the, the reason the mind meld exists is so that we can take problem cards out of the format, which means that you do not have to take problem cards out of the format. The onus is Thank not you. on you. Don't You're feel so like right. you got to fall on the sword for Blaster. That was so freeing. That was the most freeing yeah, thing. That's ever. the whole point. I am yeah, going no, to ban. I'm going to ban Gauntlet Launcher. Yes. Fuck oh, that. Yes. Yes. Fuck. Fuck. Three Gauntlet fucking Launcher. pops, oh, my guy. God. A tomb you, lives Joe. another week. Thank a you, tomb. Joseph. Let's go. You can have a tomb. You a, can have a, a tomb. tomb is crazy, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Oh, oh man, Tiki Way Gauntlet Launcher is, is is big. Finally, Hazy Flames can die a fucking Yes, death. I want <laughs> Hazy Flames to fucking sputter in like a little <laughs> ember and get snuffed out, okay? I don't want to see another Sphinx again. 
No, no, this man's gonna play Sphinx again. <laughs> <laughs> what do you summon now? What do you summon? To go to a tomb. Blaster. And then I leave them on the field. I leave them on the field. Yeah, I See go you to next a tomb. week, everyone. <laughs>